Hearts, Cupid. Don't you just love Valentine's Day? Oh, look, how romantic. A fat, naked dwarf with a weapon. <laughs> Don't make fun. It's like the best day of the year. Nikki and Carl always try to outdo each other and see who can come up with the more romantic present. Oh, isn't that... not nauseating, exactly. <laughs> I think it's very romantic. Tell him what Carl did for you last year. Yes, do. <laughs> well, he filled the house with flowers, prepared a candle at dinner, and popped open a bottle of champagne in front of the fire. Not bad. What'd you do? Rubber dress. <laughs> Good morning. I have a surprise for everyone. I have been using a hair restoring product, and I've got some pretty exciting results. <laughs> All my fine little baby hairs are coming in. Oh, yeah. Ain't that so? Oh, I see one. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought I would do it for Mrs. Here, you know, as a Valentine's Day gift. Um, I wasn't going to tell you guys, but then it just gets to the point where uh, you can't hide it anymore. <laughs> so tell me, is there anything we need to discuss about the Valentine's Day dance? Yes, we need to discuss not having it. I just can't believe that once again, Lincoln's birthday will come and go with nary a nod from this institution. What, you'd rather have a Lincoln birthday dance? Why not? Lincoln loved to dance. <laughs> Ronald, we're not going to cancel the Valentine's Day dance. Besides Mr. Piggy, Lincoln has his own holiday. Excuse me, he used to get his own holiday, which now is called President's Day. It's a national disgrace that Lincoln has to share his birthday with that farmer. Well, I'll tell you what, Ronald. You could set up some sort of tribute to Lincoln in your classroom. Oh, sure. The great emancipator gets a classroom while you devote an entire gymnasium to Cupid. That cherubic little pimp. <laughs> hey, Nikki, listen. Uh, with Valentine's Day coming up and us being friends, I got you a gift. Tom, that's so sweet. Yeah, but uh, I thought a gift might make you uncomfortable uh, with Carl and all, so I sort of returned it. Oh. In fact, I exchanged it for this sweater. <laughs> so kind of, in a way, you got me this sweater. Thanks. I love it. Hey, Christy. Hey. How you doing? I'm okay. Because uh, if you need me to carry anything, uh, your books, you... <laughs> so, uh, you're still going to the Valentine's dance. Are you kidding? I am not going to let this slow me down. Yeah, I was even thinking, uh, maybe we could go together. Of course. Oh, wait, I got history. <laughs> she said yes? Give me a break, Ethan. It's not like a miracle. You don't have to act so shocked. She said yes? <laughs> Hi, Christy, you got a day for the dance! No. A <laughs> uh, whole group of us are going together. Oh. Well, that's nice. <laughs> this is perfect. No one comes down to the gym at night. Great. Dibs on the trampoline. No, welcome. I was kind of thinking this would be a good place to be alone. Oh, okay. See you tomorrow. No. I meant us alone. Oh, doing. <laughs> I had a really good time tonight. Me too. That was the first Japanese film I've ever seen. It was great, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Why don't they make them here? <laughs> Malcolm, don't talk. Alanis Morissette. Madonna, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? We're arguing over who could beat up who. <laughs> Madonna can take Alanis Morissette any day, any time. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. But Courtney Love could kick Madonna's butt. <laughs> okay, but who could take Courtney Love? Mike Tyson? Ha, 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 ha.
Zoe, I, I keep thinking about that great movie last night. Oh, yeah? You went to the movies last night? I, I didn't go to another movie last night. I meant the one I went to with you. No, Malcolm, I know what you meant. I just, I don't want everyone to know our business. You know, it's a small school. You know how people love to talk. So what would be wrong with that? Gotta go to class. Now, I know if I say the words romantic poets, you guys gag and roll your eyes. But as it turns out, the romantic poets knew how to nasty. Carl, is this an early Valentine's Day surprise? Okay, so let's review the love connections. We have Shelley and Mrs. Shelley, Mrs. Shelley and Mr. Byron, and then Mr. Byron and everybody else. You're breaking up with me? No, 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 no. No, you want to marry me. You've, you've asked me like a hundred times. Nikki. Come on, come on, come on. Ask me right now. Will you marry me? Can I think about it? That's it, and that's why. Okay, so, guys, up here. I can't believe you're breaking up with me. Uh, hey, maybe we should close these. You can't do this, Carl. It's almost Valentine's Day. I thought that's what you wanted. Now you can finally be with Tom. Tom? Tom, Tom? What makes you think that I want to be with Tom? Just so weird growing up with such a popular name. I mean, <laughs> so many Toms. Oh, like you haven't been waiting at your chance for that long-haired English teaching freak Nick. Uh, maybe let's, uh, let's get back to Mr. and Mrs. Shelley. Yeah, did you break them up, too? <laughs> hey, have a tissue. That's the same tissue... Carl uses. <laughs> Nikki, is there any way we could move this banner over just a smidge? <laughs> Excellent. More room for Lincoln. Carl had a Lincoln. <laughs> oh my God. Mr. Heary, is is that a? Uh, <laughs> yes. My new hair was supposed to grow in by Valentine's Day, but with the holiday almost upon us, it didn't look like I was going to make it. Carl and I used to make it. <laughs> Miss Harkin? How's this? Oh, let's see. Better. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Uh, see you tomorrow. Hey. Hi. Listen. I know you're going through a tough time, and I don't know if you're ready to talk about this. But when you are, I want you to know that I'm here for you as a friend. I care about you. And you know if you want to vent or cry or talk all night, I'm here to listen. You ruined my life. <laughs> and now, check this out. You are the daddy. Am I not the daddy? You are so the daddy. <laughs> and you ready? Get this. I'm picking her up in a limo. But the gym's right across the quad. How cool is that? Man. You are the daddy. Am I the daddy or what? You are the granddaddy. <laughs> Can't believe it. I'm taking Christy Carlson to the Valentine's dance. When I'm out there dancing with her, I'll have done everything I set out to do in life. My life will be complete. Dancing, that's all? You're not going to... Make a move? I'm not gonna make a move. <laughs> Man, you are the daddy. I am the bomb! <laughs>
Oh, hi. Listen, uh, I want to apologize about what I said before about you ruining my life. It was slightly overdramatic, to say the least. Hey, you know, love hurts. Well, the truth is you've been a really good friend to me. And you're not remotely to blame for Carl and I breaking up. And I'm just really glad to have you in my life. And back at you. Well, good night. Hey, hang on a second. I felt kind of weird about that whole sweater thing, so I tried to return it. But I guess it was sort of tommed out under the pits. <laughs> anyway, I got you a little something else. Valentine's gift. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping it might cheer you up. This is really something. Oh, it, it's just a Before little... Before the corpse is even cold. The what? I see what's going on here. Just moving right on in. <sighs> Nikki, this is just me being a friend. A friend? Oh, oh, the friend routine. Oh, oh, you poor thing. You must need a big shoulder to cry on. Here, let me unbutton that for you. <laughs> it make me sick. Jake, you look unbelievable. Believe it, baby. So you ready? Yeah, yeah, but didn't Zoe tell you I got a date at the last minute? What? I got a date. So I won't be going with you guys, but I'm sure that I'll see you there, okay? Okay. You really went all out for this thing, didn't you? Oh, no, it's just another dance. It's no biggie. My God, Jake, is that your limo outside? Ah, <laughs> uh, come in, good sir. Would you like to, um, measure yourself against the life-size Lincoln? He was almost as tall as Charles Barkley. Uh, actually, I was just looking for a place to stash my coat. You too look honest. <laughs> hey, Jake. Don't you and Chrissy have a date? Uh, yes and no. Yes, she does, and no, I don't. <laughs> Hey, what happened? Mr. Rhodes, don't make me relive this. I'm a sweaty guy in a tux. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where are you going? Back to my room. <sighs> Jake, the worst thing you could do right now is sulk alone in your room. You want to know what? You and I are going to go to that dance together. You know why? Because you and I are happening young brothers. People like having us around. <laughs> but most importantly, because we got to have a ride in that limo. <laughs> Who else did Nikki have on the decorating committee? Edgar Allan Poe? <laughs> Look at him with her. What's he got that I haven't got? A date? <laughs> hey, Zoe. Wanna dance? I I'd love to, Malcolm. Um, unfortunately, I just ate. And, and you should never really dance right after you've eaten because you could get cramps and drown. <laughs> What's the matter? You seem upset. I mean, this place seems so... high school. This is high school. Yeah. Um, so when did you hurt your leg, anyway? Last week. But it doesn't matter because I can still dance. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, you, uh, feel like dancing up to your room? <laughs> uh, Tom, is Mr. Heary here? I'm not sure. <laughs> right on, Mr. Harry. Very hip. Wow. If it were anybody but you, Mr. Harry, I'd be really turned on. <laughs> so what made you want to... Well, the hair restorative wasn't working. The toupee looked ridiculous, so I thought, hey, 
If you're gonna be bald, be bald. So I went with something with a little more mojo rising. Mr. Heary, mojo notwithstanding, I am deeply upset at how woefully underpublicized the Lincoln Gala was. To remedy the situation... Ronald, I... Ronald, Ronald. Who loved you, baby? <laughs> oh, Miss Harkins. This whole love thing can be really hard, can't it? Hard? <laughs> Sometimes it's like a dagger of deception and deceit plunged into your chest and twisted mercilessly until you beg, yes, beg, for death <laughs> as a welcome respite from the unendurable pain. Okay, nice talking to you. <laughs> Quiet down, everyone. I have an important announcement. Due to popular demand, the hours for the Lincoln Festival have been extended. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, aren't you? That is so not true, and please keep your voice down. You know, Zoe, I, I care about you. And I don't care who knows it. I just wish you felt the same way, too. Jake, you cannot sit there looking that sharp and not take all that love out on the dance floor. Yeah? Yeah, go get him, my brother. Come on, Christy, look, you have a thing on your leg. So? So? I don't want to go out there and look like an idiot. Well, fine. And you can stay here and act like one. Something I'd like to say. Zoe? I love you. And I'm proud of that. And I want the whole world to know that you are so beautiful to me. Somebody kill me. You are so beautiful. I mean it. Kill me right now. To me. So romantic. Can't you see? Zoe, I'm so jealous. You're everything I hope for. Hey, Zoe, I didn't know you and Malcolm were a thing. Everything I need. You and my buddy Malcolm? That is so great. 
You are so beautiful to me. Uh, now that I have your attention, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. What's the matter with me? I feel crappy and scared. But on some level, I think this may be the best thing that could happen to me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. All I know is Valentine's Day is over and I'm all by myself. Well, you know what they say. It ain't over to the neurotic lady dances. <laughs> Carl was a bad dancer. <laughs> 